Hello and welcome to Optica University. Today's tutorial is about processing flat files in Web Methods Integration Server 9.7. Flat files are flat structures coming from a source system. They contain fields, records, separated by chosen identifiers. A system can receive two types of flat files from any source system. One with a record identifier and another without a record identifier. You can see samples of both on my screen. These files contain employee information like his name, gender, age, designation, salary, address, city and province. To process these files, go to Software AG Designer and make sure you are in Service Development Perspective. To process a flat file, we need to create a flat file dictionary, schema and document for the same. We will begin processing of a flat file without a record identifier. First of all, we would need to create a flat file dictionary. As you can see on my screen, in record definition, we can specify position of a field as per our requirement. In our case, we know name would come at position 0, gender would come at position 1, and age would come at position 2, and so on. Now we would need to create flat file schema. In flat file schema, first of all, we have to identify record parser type. This setting is nothing but it tells integration server how to parse a record in a flat file. In our case, it is a delimiter. That means every new record in a flat file will be separated by delimiter new line and new field will be separated by delimiter comma. Once these settings are done, Set default record as the one defined in your dictionary. In our case, it was employee details. Once these settings are done, click save and then move to flat file structure tab. On the top panel right hand side, you'll see an icon create document type. Once you click on this icon, integration server will automatically create a document. Look at the top element name. It says record with no ID. That means flat file which will be processed will not contain a record identifier. When you open this, you will see all the elements which were defined in our dictionary are present here. All the components required to convert a flat file are ready now. We now need to create a flow service which will accept flat file as input. In our flow service, you can see a string defined as employee FF string. This string would contain flat file data. To convert flat file data, we have invoked service convert to values in our flow service. This service is available on Web Methods Integration Server WM flat file. As you can see, employee FF string is mapped to FF data. In FF schema, we need to pass full path of our flat file schema. We can also define optional fields like return errors and max errors. In our case, we have set max errors to minus one, which means all the errors which occur while processing should be available in the output. Return errors is set to in results, which means all the errors should be available in pipeline out. To test our flow service, we'll use our sample file data, which does not contain a record identifier. In your flow service, Select option run as flow service and provide your sample data here and click OK. You will notice that all the data which was present in the sample file has been parsed correctly. Let's talk about second type of flat files, ones which contain record identifiers. As you can see on my screen, in this particular sample, Every record is prefixed with word EMP. EMP is the record identifier here. To process a flat file which contains identifier, we do need to create dictionary, schema and document in Software AG Designer. As we have seen earlier, in a dictionary we define all the fields expected in a flat file inside field definition. In case of a flat file which contains a record identifier, we need to make sure that the name of record definition is same as record identifier. All the fields can be referred inside the same. In our sample data, we have also seen 
record identifier EMP comes at position 0 in all the records. That means name comes at position 1, gender comes at position 2, and age comes at position 3, and so on. We now need corresponding flat file schema. As we know in a schema, we need to identify record parser type, record delimiter, and field delimiter. Once these settings are done, move to flat file structure. Here, you would need to refer record definition EMP, in our case, which was defined in the dictionary. Also, if we are expecting more than one record in the flat file, set max repeat to unlimited, else only one record will be processed. Save these settings and click on Create Document Type on the right side in the top panel. IS will automatically create a corresponding document. Let's have a look at the document generated by IS. As you can see, name of the root node is same as Record Definition EMP defined in the dictionary. And all the fields which were defined in the dictionary are present under the same. All the required components to convert a flat file are now ready. We need a flow service to process a flat file. In the flow service, you will see service convert to values is used in the same manner as was used with data without identifier. To test this service, we will use our sample data which contains record identifier. One can see on my screen this record contains EMP as record identifier in every record. This sample data will be passed to our flow service to see how records with identifier are processed. As you can see, data is parsed correctly under record definition EMP. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more information, please visit www.optica.com.